Today, I'm going to talk about a famous painter called Salvador Dali that is best known as a surrealist painter. On an early day basis, he was encouraged to practice his art. The young Dali soon became best known for his painting, 1925, The Basket of Bread. The following year, Salvador joined the surrealist and soon became the leader of the surrealist movement on the same year, 1925. Thanks to Gala, the one who stole Salvador Dali's heart. As mentioned, Gala was the woman Salvador married. And it was said that both Dali and Gala escaped together from Europe during World War II to the United States. Dali mentioned that these were very important years for him because the Museum of Modern Art located in New York gave him his first major retrospective. When Dali moved away from Sturgis, he began his series of 19 large canvases, scientific, historical, or religious themes. Some of his works are The Face of War, 1940, and The Burning Giraffe of America, along with The Sacrament of the Last Stupid. It is said that Dali worked in all media, oil, watercolor, drawing, graphic, and sculpture, film, and photographs. One of his all-time famous paintings was The Persistence of Memory, 1931, which is one of the best surrealist works Dali has focused on often called just clocks. But what do all these dirty clocks have behind? The mutton on the dirty clock symbolize the irregular passage of time that's experienced while dreaming. That's how the young Salvador Dali dream. If we look at the art through the perspective of a dream state, the restored clocks don't have any power in the dream world and are melting away because of that. Dali illustrates how useless, irrelevant, and unpredictable a normal concept of time is inside the dream state. During our daily lives, we are always rushed and busy trying to get all of our work done on time. If we take the word persistence in the title, the persistence of memory, this means that the clocks are memory. Memory itself is not even possible. That's what the red watch on the left corner cover will end mean. No matter how hard we work, on remembering something. The possibility of trying to remember is just not possible. Marxist is described as class struggle, but all or no materialists have value. The clock are the material, the platform in which the tree rests and the blue platform on the upper right both represent class standing. Furthermore, the working ants that are in the red wasp are trying to get the wasp case open. The landscape that is shown in the persistence of memory symbolizes Ali's hometown from his childhood remembering of his surroundings. The young artist hasn't visited ever since his childhood. The egg that lays on the distant shore is the symbol of life. The egg also has a symbol 
of the joining of hard work during the stereolist period of Salvador Dalí. The white figure on the floor has shading in the entire body. This is portrayed to be a self-portrait of the artist for his funny looking. The white figure is also missing parts. The only thing you can tell is that it has eyelashes and a nose that has a solid form. This painting is geometric, dimensional, and abstracted because it does not stick to all traditional shapes and forms. The persistence of memory covers warm colors such as yellow, gold, black, and brown. But there are also cool colors, blue, white, and silver. The message that Ali is trying to share is that life is fast and full of choices, which sometimes bring unforgettable things. But we tend to move on. Salvador had a younger sister whose name was Ana Maria. Ana Maria was a teenager. Dali would be, do paintings of her such as this one, where she was painted from behind, often gazing out at the view from their seaside holiday home. In Karak, she recalled that she did not mind how long she sat for him, and that the experience gave her a lifelong love for the landscape of the view. Here's how I have created my own piece of work. The way I can see my point of this drawing is kind of funny. You may laugh. So here's what I do. A tree, apparently with money on it, and in one side I have a sun and the beach in a city. On my left side I have clouds with thunderstorms later. On the left cor corner there is a picture of me getting work time and tending to be busy and stressed about life. My interpretation of this is that if money grew from trees, I would be traveling constantly without worrying about life and basically enjoying life, but instead I'm at the point where none of that can come true. So in order for that to happen, I have to work hard toward my goal in order to get there because life is not easy. On what year did Salvador Dali became the leader of the surrealist movement. Correct answer, 1925. 